When talking about Hollywood in the 2000s, you can't not talk about Paris Hilton. Paris, who is iconically known for her involvement in the Hollywood scene, is also known for her run-ins with law enforcement. Let's take a look at the first time she was arrested in 2006 and served time. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Queen of Hollywood, Paris Hilton, and there are just so many scandals to cover when talking about Paris Hilton in Hollywood in the 2000s. So today I wanted to take a look at her arrest scandal from 2006 slash 2007. But real quick before I get into all of that, I just want to say that if you guys enjoy this type of content like Hollywood scandals, feuds, controversies, relationships, stuff like that, then it would really mean the world if you would subscribe to my channel because I really want to be a YouTuber. That's like my dream in life. So if you guys want to subscribe, if you like this type of content, then it would really mean the world to me if you support me and my channel. So you guys know that on my channel, we talk about Hollywood controversies, scandals, stuff like that from the present and the past. And today we're going to be taking a look at one of those scandals from the past with Paris Hilton's arrest in 2006. Paris is best known for being a social light on the Hollywood scene and an heiress of the Hilton Hotels. She was definitely an it girl in Hollywood in the 2000s and she ran with crowds like Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, Kim Kardashian. Although Paris is known for being a social light, she did star in one of the first reality shows out there called The Simple Life along alongside Nicole Richie, which if you guys haven't seen The Simple Life, I just started watching it for the first time ever in my life on Amazon. It's like $5 a season, but it's really entertaining and it just gives nostalgia vibes. And I'm pretty sure Paris Hilton did have a feud with Nicole Richie at some point, so if you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. She also gained notoriety when a private tape was released of her in 2001, and she also dated Joe Francis, which is nasty, and I did a video about that last week if you guys want to go watch that after you're done watching this. Paris was definitely a wild child in the 2000s, and when she was 25 my age, she actually got arrested for a DUI for driving under the influence of alcohol. On September 7th, 2006, Paris was pulled over at around 12.30 a.m. for driving erratically. MTV said the officers observed that she exhibited symptoms of intoxication. The vehicle was driving erratically and they conducted a field sobriety test at the scene and the officers determined she was driving under the influence. Hilton, 25, who was reportedly traveling with friend Kimberly Stewart, the daughter of classic rocker Rod Stewart, who, by the way, she also dated Joe Francis, was booked on suspicion of misdemeanor, DUI, and released. The Los Angeles City Attorney's Office will decide whether to file misdemeanor charges, the Associated Press reported. City Attorney Spokesperson Nick Velasquez said Hilton will likely be arraigned September 28th if she is charged. If convicted, she could receive a six-month jail sentence and be ordered to pay a $1,000 fine. As a first-time offender, however, Hilton's penalty is more likely to be a fine, probation, and license suspension along with court-ordered community service and alcohol rehabilitation. When they conducted a breathalyzer test on Paris, it determined that her blood alcohol content was 0 0.08, which was the least amount of alcohol that needed to show up on your test for you to be charged with a DUI. So Paris was taken to the Hollywood jail and she was released that night around 2 a.m. when her sister Nikki and Nikki's boyfriend came to pick her up. But of course, word had already gotten out that Paris Hilton was arrested and the paparazzi were swarming the police station. <laughs> Is she coming out today? Yes, she is. Just to know you for a while. Yeah. She's going to be coming out in just a little while. But she 
but we're not going to have any comments when you proceed. Okay. No comment. Is, is, she, is she okay right now, though, She's sir? doing just fine. And they're treating her good? They treat, they're treating her <laughs> They don't treat any other sister. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. When Paris was released, the paparazzi followed her to her house and waited outside for her publicist, Elliot Mintz, to come out and make a statement about this night's events. Elliot Mintz told paparazzi that it was no big deal and that Paris was absolutely fine after getting home from jail and that the DUI was a result of having one margarita on an empty stomach after not eating all day and spending all day shooting a music video for her new album like what, what, what happened tonight exactly well, basically she was uh, she was stopped and um, she was given a breathalyzer test the parents got up at around uh, two three o'clock this morning to shoot a music video a second day of shooting the video uh, she had not had anything to eat all day uh, she um, had one drink what was, what was the breathalyzer reading of the very absolute lowest reading that you could possibly get uh, to wine being taken. Which is point uh, oh, point eight. Uh, point oh eight. Uh, without getting to the specifics, yeah, okay. it's the absolute lowest, and uh, you saw the moment of you can see that she was not. Were there any drugs involved? Uh, absolutely no, no drugs were involved. It was just uh, involved in did she call her parents? Or I know she's an older woman now. But she does just, her mom and dad know? We, we just got home you know, moments ago, so she's inside. I don't believe she had any reason to awaken her parents. Absolutely. So never good. getting good, but I don't find that soon. Oh, okay. Was she treated really nice inside the... Uh, she was treated the way... Uh, I, I spoke to the, um, the, the officer because I knew that I would be asked that question. Mm -hmm. And he said, and you can confirm the thing, that she was treated exactly like anybody else would be who has no prior arrests, mm -hmm. who is clearly not a flight risk, who uh, is being totally cooperative, and uh, who appears to be you know, in control of herself and was released to uh, a, a responsible director. Oh, she was in this case, was So she was treated the way anybody else would. It was never a pleasant experience, but she went through the procedure. Absolutely. Did Paris spend any time in detox? Did Paris spend any time in detox? The following morning, Paris called in to KISS FM radio to talk to the host, Ryan Seacrest, about the arrest, where she said, Everything I do is so blown out of proportion and it really hurts my feelings. So maybe I was speeding a little bit and got pulled over. I was just really hungry and wanted an in and out burger. So let's take a look at this TMZ article that was published on September 7th, 2006, titled Paris. All I wanted was an In-N-Out burger. Just hours after her arrest on suspicion of DUI, Paris Hilton called into the On the Air with Ryan Seacrest show on LA's KISS FM this morning and told Ryan that she may have been driving a little fast in her Mercedes McLaren SLR, but it was only because she wanted a burger. Paris told Ryan she had an excruciatingly long day on Wednesday filming the video for her new single, Nothing in This World. She told Ryan she wrapped shooting for the day, went to dinner with sister Nikki and girlfriends, guess she didn't eat at dinner, attended a charity event hosted by Dave Navarro, and had one margarita. She says she left to drive home, which she says was only a few blocks away, and may have been going a little fast because she was starving and just wanted an in and out burger. Paris, maybe next time you should carry a granola bar in your purse so you don't get quite so ravenous. <laughs> so Paris's court date came up early the following year in January of 2007, and she ended up pleading no contest. And Paris honestly got the best outcome because she wasn't sentenced to any jail time. She was sentenced to 36 months of probation. And you wouldn't think that probation would be difficult to do. I mean, all you have to do on probation is not violate any law laws, like how hard could that be? But Paris ended up violating her probation. Paris was pulled over for speeding in February of 2007, just a month after she started her 36-month sentence of probation. And it turns out that she was driving on a suspended license, so she could be facing jail time at this point. Let's take a look at this article that TMZ posted in February of 2007. TMZ has confirmed that Paris Hilton violated the terms of her probation last night when she was pulled over for driving on a suspended license and could spend up to 90 days in jail as a result. 
Hilton pled no contest to alcohol-related reckless driving after cops arrested her on September 7th for a DUI in Hollywood. As a result, the DMV suspended her license and a judge placed Hilton on 36 months probation with one major condition being to obey all laws. Last night, Hilton was stopped around 10.30 p.m. after cops say that they noticed Hilton speeding down Sunset Boulevard without headlights. Deputies then discovered she was driving with a suspended license, arrested the heiress, and impounded her car. A hearing will be set to discuss Hilton's violation. So Paris goes to court in May of 2007 for this violation, and she is sentenced to 45 days in jail. Paris was heard crying in court, pleading with the judge, saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And according to witnesses in the courtroom, her mom, Kathy Hilton, was especially distraught. Paris's defense attorney, Howard Waitzman, came out with a statement and said, I'm shocked. I'm surprised and really disheartened in the system that I've worked in for close to 40 years. The sentence was uncalled for, inappropriate, and bordered on the ludicrous. I think she's singled out because of who she is. So on June 5th, 2007, Paris made her way to the LA County Jail and she began serving her time. However, she only did three days before she was released and sent back home to her mansion in Hollywood Hills to serve the rest of her sentence under house arrest due to a medical situation. Honestly, it sounds like someone was pulling some strings for Paris, like this undisclosed medical situation sounds sketchy. And the public thought so too, because people started turning this whole situation with Paris being let free to go serve the rest of her sentence under house arrest in her Hollywood Hills mansion into a big uproar. And Paris ended up only spending one night in her own bed before she was ordered to go back to court to reevaluate the situation. The next day at court, the judge decided to send Paris back to jail to serve the rest of her sentence behind bars. Paris is back in. A judge has ordered Paris Hilton back to jail to serve out her full 45-day sentence behind bars. The ruling comes just one day after her early release. She was taken from the court screaming and crying. Just to tell the world how your daughter is doing. This was the pandemonium outside the Hilton's home as authorities picked her up. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Hilton was apparently handcuffed before she got in the patrol car. Here you can see her in tears inside. She continued crying throughout the hearing and shouted, it's not right, after the ruling. Paris ended up doing three weeks behind bars before she was released slightly early for good behavior. This whole thing was a media frenzy, to say the least. Around this time, photographers and paparazzi were following Paris everywhere she went because her arrest and doing time behind bars was all over the tabloids. It was really one of the top stories of that time confined and for three and a half weeks in a little cell so it's just overwhelming just to be out um, and be free again. What, were those, those moments, what was that moment like we saw you up and down out, that feeling of freedom? It was one of the happiest days of my life like uh, it's hard to even describe it was so exciting even just being in the fresh air and looking up at the sky and the stars and being outside and then it was just pandemonium and then as soon as I saw my mom I just ran to her to go give her a hug so that was really exciting for me. What do you think it is about you Paris that everybody follows you around? I mean you must have examined this in your life. Why do people, photographers, paparazzi, why you? I have no idea. I'm just, I just am living my life. I mean, you don't call them and this wasn't even Paris's only arrest. She was arrested again in 2010 for possession of snow. That's going to be a whole other video because that like, yeah, that's just gonna be its own thing. So expect to see that. Anyways, let me know what your guys' thoughts on this are. If you have any video requests, you can let me know in the comments. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.